Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, maybe you have seen my video where I took my dogs to Wolfsburg to a Volkswagen event um, and it, the video was more about how the drive is and how it is to go with dogs on a long trip and it was more lifestyle and today I want to analyze the whole trip when it comes to charging and uh, time and everything and I have a, a lot of data from a better route planner that I, that I used on the way there not on the way back because it didn't work that well but we're going to talk about the whole thing First, the whole trip was like this. I started here in Passau, drove to the airport in Munich where I put, uh, brought Cindy, then went to the first charger around Puls, then to the Ionity charger Kushinger Forst, then Ionity Himmelkron, then I went on to Ionity Nempitz, that's near Leipzig, and then Ionity near Magdeburg, and then the last few kilometers to Wolfsburg to my hotel and uh, I took almost the same way back but just knew it not with of course not uh, with Munich because Cindy arrived from the airport a day or so from Stockholm uh, at the airport a day later so I went back uh, uh, with Nuremberg and then Regensburg and back and I took Ionity Neumarkt and then Ionity Straubing for just short time but I want to go through some uh, uh, data. The good thing with a better route planner is that you can also, uh, that it saves your trips that you have done. And you can see here in my trips, on the third I was testing it a bit, on the fourth I was driving to Dresden because I had a test drive in the Volkswagen ID bus. And on the tenth here, this is where I went to Wolfsburg and it shows me the whole trip. And I, I, I didn't have a better route planner on until I, I brought Cindy to the airport so it starts here at the airport and it shows me all the things five drive six hours 13 minutes four charges 36 minutes was a bit more than that uh, uh, 598 kilometers average speed 96 kilometers an hour important with this data is every time when I'm not in the car because I walk the dogs um, the OBD doesn't send anything because uh, it doesn't get data from the car when the ignition is off. So it didn't get the whole charging time. Of course, 36 minutes was not what I was charging um, unless I was in the car. But if you go in here and his Oberehrding, this is where I started. I can go in here and it shows me the trip. Can you see that? Here's the airport of Munich. So with GPS, it shows me that I arrived here at Aral Puls was the first thing. And it even shows me that I started with 32.2% state of charge and I ended with, where does it say that? It says it here, doesn't it? 21%. I can see the speed I was doing. Uh, um, up here maximum 127 that's 130 on the on the speedometer that's what I was driving and then here I went off the highway oh I didn't have connection here see it jumped from here to here oh I remember what that was um, uh, no was it no it wasn't that I forget and I can see elevation also that here was up the hill 490 uh, meters and here it's 460 and here it's what is it 447 and the power that I was using so how many kilowatts I was using here was passing someone I guess with 90 kilowatt yeah <laughs> and and then I can go on first I can see the charge so here it can it shows me uh, I charged with 56 kilowatt again I was um, what well, this time I wasn't walking the dogs that's true because it was very early I didn't walk them uh, 11 minutes only charged for a bit and here I can see state of charge that goes up from uh, I can see that here down here 22 percent up to uh, 43 percent I can see the voltage and the power it's so cool and then I went on to the next here again I have my what is this the voltage the state of charge I don't need the voltage here why is there that the voltage of the car is when you when you when you drive? Ha! Huh. Because yeah, interesting. Speed is more important. How can I get the voltage away? I don't want the voltage anymore. 
Can I go back here and go to state of charge and voltage off and then the trip? Yes, here. Then I see because here I, I get it where it stayed at 43%. This is where I was going shopping, grocery shopping to have some food. And then here it goes down in steps. So while driving, of course, it's way more accurate than it is uh, with uh, um, when you're charging, when you're not in the car. And this goes all the way then to Wolfsburg, this is Nempitz, here is the next drive from Nempitz to Magdeburg, um, where's the last one, the Wolfsburg, oh this is the Wolfsburg one, uh, yeah it didn't didn't recognize the charge that I was doing here, I was charging here for 10-15 minutes, why is this not in here, that's weird, yeah that's weird, it didn't do that, but it's so cool that a better route plan I can do that. But let's go to my calculations that I've seen. So the costs of the drive, that's very important. Um, these are all the charges I did uh, and how many kilowatt hours I did. Um, um, this one here, it's it's not in, in, in the right order because this was the one, a different, this was the first charge here. And um, I charged for free at the hotel. This was this here. So 40, this, these are the kilowatt hours on the way there. And this is what I have to pay at uh, the first few of WeCharge. And this is from EMBW that I used at Aral Pulse. And then on the next day, I charged at the Volkswagen event here six almost seven kilowatt hours and I preheated the car many many times because I had the dogs in the car and didn't want them to be cold and then this is my drive home four charges I charged at Nempitz uh, it's all Ionity Nempitz, Himmelkron, Neumarkt and Straubing um, and then at home I charged back to 100% I didn't I charge to 80%, but if I would have charged to 100%, it would have been 49 kilowatt hours. And at home, why is this not money? I would have paid uh, 12 euros 74 for that because I paid 26 cent per kilowatt hour at home. So the whole thing would have been 361.74 kilowatt hours. Not that accurate. Cost me 83 uh, uh, euros and 50 cent. It was 1388 kilometers. My average consumption in the car showed around on the way back it was 260. On the way there, I think it was a bit less because on the way there I drove with 130. On the way back, I drove 140. And the last 40 kilometers on the highway from Straubing to where I have to go off the highway. I drove top speed. I wanted to get home. Um, but this is with charging loss because this is the kilowatt hours that are charged, not what the car is showing. So when you're charging, there's heat loss. Uh, the, the, the battery has to be cooled. And this all takes power, and this is here included. So 260 watt hours per kilometer on a very long distance trip, like I said, almost 1400 kilometers. That's high, but it was, uh, it's March, it's not that warm. Uh, uh, but it's also not that cold, but I had the heat on always on 22 degrees, sometimes a bit lower when it, the sun was shining on me. So on the way back, uh, um, um, when it got dark, I had the heat on more, but I was also accelerating a few times to pass car and everything. Um, but still, 260 uh, watt hours per kilometer is still high, uh, including charging loss. So without that, it would be 250 or so. And if I would have used my old ice car, I had a Hyundai Matrix once with uh, incredible 100 horsepower power. Um, I had to say, I have to say that every time. Um, I would have used at 138 liters per hundred kilometers for the 1388 kilometers. I would have used 111 liters of fuel right now because of the stupid war. We have 2.34 euros especially on the highway it's even ex more expensive if you charge somewhere there and i would have have a uh, charge fuel up i would have to fuel up two times i would say maybe the second time not full but well wh what was it i can't remember how much i could put in there maybe it was a 50 liter tank and i would have to 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 fuel up two times very possible um it would have cost me almost 260 euros and with my ID3 and I drove fast and heat and the consumption wasn't great, 84. 
that's pretty cool so in the summer this would be down to 75 or even 70 euros and here it, it wouldn't change that much with winter tires yes maybe it's even more with the consumption um, and very important with the ice car I couldn't have left the, the, the dogs in the in the car because the car would have cooled down and I could not heat it. Uh, I can, I'm not running, uh, let the motor run for the whole time. So it's very cool stats. I like that and a better route planner with the, the, the routing. Also cool. On the way there, like I said, it worked amazing. Um, um, so it doesn't... Um, what I was hoping is that I can plan my whole route uh, on the phone on the app and save it but it just saves your data that you want to use and uh, the, the the points and everything but the calculation what charger to use it still does it in the car again but when you are in the car you can do it on the phone again so change it to the way that you want to if there's a charger in there that you don't like or the distance between chargers you're like yeah i don't know and 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 you know go in detail and change it to the way that you think this is how i want to drive and then you can say start uh, uh, navigation when you're already connected with android auto and then it just uses uh, that trip and it works really well with state of charge and it it was pretty spot on every time that i arrived and it's a way more relaxed driving i have to say i always before i drove with the uh, margin 30 to 40 kilometers of margin and and, and with a better route planner i trust a better route planner if it if if it says charge to 63 percent i would do it maybe 65 and then go and if it if it says you will arrive with eight percent i believed it and it didn't change sometimes uh, it said you arrive with 10% and then I see I'm still 10 kilometers away. I'm already at 10% and it goes down and I was why, why doesn't it not refresh and say that you're not driving with 10% it should be 8 but usually it's it's pretty pretty close and I was very happy about that. Um, on the way back it was a bit different. Um, on the way back I tried to go uh, take the same chargers but for whatever reason um, it didn't want to use the Himmelkron and I'm, 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 I'm guessing it would be uh, uh, faster with other chargers and, and, and better route plan is good with that but I wanted to go to Himmelkron because it's cheaper for me if, if I charge at Ionity and then the, the next problem was it told me that the Ionity Neumarkt, the four chargers, doesn't work. You won't use that for, for planning. And the same in Straubing with Ionity on both sides. So eight chargers wouldn't work. And that's just not true. And they worked. But I didn't want to use them for... Even when I put them in as a waypoint, it said you can't charge it. A charger is broken, uh, which was not true. Uh, there's nothing you can do. I could uh, um, maybe I could turn off the, the the online charger availability, but it's also nice when you drive and you can see there are four stalls, how many are occupied or broken or whatever. It's very nice to see that before you arrive at a charger. But they still need to do some work, but overall it worked really nice. Like I said, on the way back I didn't. I drove with my margin and I think it took a bit longer. I, on, the, on the way there it, it took me over 10 hours because of bringing Cindy to the airport and taking my time to walking the dogs and charging too much on the way back i also charged a bit too much but it took seven hours and 25 not seven hours and 20 minutes um 22 minutes something like that and i walked the dogs a few time but it was late i, I didn't walk them every charging stop and not that long uh, but one time I charged longer than I would. Uh, well, I charged to 85% and it was just... I could have been home at, uh, uh, after 7 hours. So I could have saved 25 minutes or so. But the data is so cool. Uh, I like a better route planner for, for stuff like this. If it recognizes the charger. Um, and it works really well. Um, yeah, the, the only uh, other problem I have with a better route planner is the, the thing with the stall numbers. You can say that please only use chargers with four stalls, but it doesn't separate between high power charger and 50 kilowatt charger. If So if there's a fast net that has one high power charger and three 50 kilowatt charger, it still sees this as four stalls. But for me, 
uh, I, want to, I only want the high power charger for me that's one stall so don't use it but you cannot specify that yet but it's getting better and better now with the last update it just came yesterday or the day before you now can even put your charging card in there for and then you can select what, what is it will select what's the best price for you that's so cool so it's getting better and better and not just for tesla like you see here it's really uh, uh working very well i was very happy okay that's it for me i hope that was informative for you um have a great day and take care i almost didn't know what to say bye